Well, good afternoon. My name is Christopher Dunsford. I am the EDOC support manager here at OpenText. Um, I wanted to go over a uh, cool feature that actually uh, is coming out in EDOC's DM 10P3. Um, we actually do have a hotfix for P2, but uh, this feature is included in P3. And this is the uh, DM autosave and save of unsaved documents feature. So I just want to show you um, how you enable it, and I also want to demonstrate its use. Um, so first of all, let's go in and set this up. Um, we're actually going to have to go into the registry, so I will start that now. All right. So you should be going to HKEY Current User Software, Hummingbird, PowerDocs, and App Integration. In this key, we're going to create a couple of entries. And the first one is going to be called Copy File Path. So it's Copy File Path. And anyone who's enabled the Office Documents Backup feature will recognize that entry. Um, so in this location, we're going to put percent app data percent. So what this is going to do is it will create a backup folder in the user's profile. You can also put in a, a UNC path to a network share if you would like to save your backup copies to that location. I like saving it to the user's profile. So now we're going to create a new entry, and this entry is called autosave interval. Autosave interval we can set between 0 and 10. Um, if you set it to 0, um, there won't be any autosave that occurs uh, when you're editing documents. If you set it to 1 to 10, that represents 1 to 10 minutes. For the demonstration, I'm going to set this to 1. OK, our next entry is going to be timeout date. Timeout date uh, specifies how long do you want to keep your autosaved documents. So do you want to keep them only for one day or do you want to keep them for 30, 60, or 90 days? So this is going to be a decimal value and we're going to put in here 30. So every 30 days, um, or I, I only want to keep documents um, that are um, 30 days old or less. All right. So that should be it. So we've got copy file path specifies where we're going to place our auto saved documents at. We have the auto save interval. In this uh, example, we've set it to one minute. And we have the timeout date, and that's 30 days. All right, so let's go in. Um, and before I demonstrate this, I do want to go over the purpose of the autosave and save of unsaved documents feature. So the purpose is twofold, really. It's to minimize the risk of missing edits. Um, it's also to protect the user in the event that they make an incorrect choice when choosing to save or not to save their edits. OK, let's go in through a demonstration. So let's go to the user's um, profile. So you can see I'm at app data, roaming, open text. And um, here, um, there is an OT backup folder. Now, if you haven't implemented um, the Office Documents backup feature or implemented uh, this feature before, um, you won't have an OT backup, but that's OK. When you specify percent up data percent, um, it will actually create that for you whenever it, um, whenever it autosaves its first document. Um, OK, so. Let's go in and take a look here. There's nothing in there right now. If I go and I launch Word, and let's say I'm working on a document. And 
and we're working for a while, working for a while. Now, let's say that after a while, I choose not to save this document. So I'm going to say, you know what, I really don't need this document. Do you want to save changes? No. Actually, you know what, I probably do need to save that document. Well, don't worry about it. Um, DM has created a, um, a backup copy for you here in the OT backup folder. Um, this feature is called Save of Unsaved Documents. So um, any type of close that you do, if you have pending changes for that document um, and you choose not to save those edits, well, we're going to go ahead and save a, a copy for you just in case you need to go back and review those changes and incorporate those. Now, let's go in and let's actually open a DM document. So here, we're going to open version 4. Okay. So, version 4 is open. Now I am going to type an edit. Here is my edit for the demo. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save this. All right, you can see I have the background save enabled, so I got my little bubble that it uploaded. Now, an interesting thing to note here is you'll see whenever it uh, it performed the save of unsaved documents, I got a timestamp to with the document. So the timestamp is 2016. Uh, that's the year, obviously. Seven for July and 26 for the date. So on this document, when I press save, it created a backup of that document that consists of the library, document number, version, and name, just like you would see whenever you drag and drop from DM onto your desktop. So that's uh, performing a save. Now let's do a save as. And we'll say new version. Okay, so we got version 5 here. It's uploaded into DM. And in the backup location, we have version 5. So um, you'll see that anytime you do a save or a save as in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, that those documents will get saved to your backup location. Also, if we make an edit here, here is my signature. All right. And we close out of version 5. Do we want to save changes? No. You know what? I do need those changes. That's okay. If you come here, you'll see that um, you'll have a timestamp with the name of that document. And if we go here and double click, here is my signature. If we go in to DM, since we didn't save those changes, those changes will not be there. But you can easily go to your backup location and, and incorporate those changes. So at this point, that's unsaved documents, and that's performing a, a backup of any saved changes. So now, how does autosave work? Well, autosave, testing, autosave. If you'll remember, we have autosave set for one minute. I would recommend between five and ten minutes for your users. So, let's go look at the backup location. It is currently 219. In about one minute, we should get an autosave document. All right, there we go. So um, you'll see we haven't done any other action with this document. There are pending changes with the document. And um, you know you can imagine you're continuously editing this document without making uh, changes, or uh, excuse me, without saving. But in the background, we are auto-saving that document for you to the backup location. So if I close here, and this is testing auto-save, 
No, I don't want to save those changes. But if I come here to the autosave document, you'll see that those changes did get saved. So this is really three features in one. This is saving any saved changes to a backup location. So this works with Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. When you do a save or a save as, it will save your changes to the backup location. It's also save unsaved documents. So if you're making changes to your documents and you choose not to save those changes, well, we're going to save those changes for you in this backup location so you can easily go back and recover any documents that you should have said yes to to save changes. And there's also the autosave feature, which while you're working on a document, if you forget to save your changes, then um, let's say you have a power outage or something happens to where it crashes. Well, you can rest assured that within that a lot of time, your changes are being saved, uh, being backed up for you while you edit. Now. Um, if you're concerned about this folder getting too full, um, you don't need to worry about that because, again, the timeout date after 30 days, um, after documents are 30 days old, they'll start to clean themselves up. And if you're an admin and you want to push out um, basically a, a mass delete of those backup documents, you can easily do that with a GPO. Um, just set this, set this value here to 1000 and what's going to happen is whenever Word closes or Excel or PowerPoint it will go ahead and clean up that location for you as you just saw. So um, yeah you don't have to worry about that um, that folder getting um, filled up at all. Um, and that is it. That is um, that is the DM autosave and save of unsaved documents feature in Edocs DM. In Edocs DM 10 P3, again, there is a hotfix for P2. P3 is just around the corner. It should be out either this week or next week. Um, and, um, and you'll be able to install that and take advantage of this feature. All right, again, my name is Christopher Dunsford. And um, thank you for joining us today for the video.